What's up people, I hope you're all doing well and in this week's video I'm going to be trying something a little bit different as I'm going to be setting myself a challenge to see if we can make any money selling Bitcoin and crypto t-shirts and merchandise. So in case some of you have been living under a rock for the past five years, Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency that many see as the futures form of a global currency. And the movement behind Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency space is currently at an all-time high at the time of filming this video, which means for most people involved in this space, they are currently seeing a very bright future and upwards trajectory of this space. So with the current emotion and position of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, now would be the perfect time to go ahead and sell some fun and unique t-shirts and merchandise. Now I've only given myself a budget of $100 for this challenge and this will mostly be spent on the domain, the website and marketing. As for the designs that are going to go on the t-shirts and the merchandise that we're going to be selling, I'm actually going to create them myself using a free online editing software called Canva. This way we can actually save some dollar bills and put this money towards marketing. This challenge will also run for 48 hours. This way I can put some rapid spending into the ads and marketing of the launch of the store and then we can see what initial reaction we get to a store like this. So let's be talking about what I'm going to do. Let's head back and dive into this challenge and get it started. So first things first, I need to figure out what I'm going to be selling and where I'm actually going to go to source these t-shirts and merchandise from in order to sell on my store. And the best method we can use here is a business model called print on demand. And for those of you who don't know what print on demand is, it's basically a way of selling products that don't actually exist yet. Once we receive an order for a t-shirt as an example, we then take the money from that order and then pay someone else to print this t-shirt for us and ship it directly to the customer. Which means we won't ever see or touch the products at all and this is great because it means we won't need any upfront capital at all to buy or store the products. But anyway, for this challenge I'm going to be using a website called Printful which is a white label supplier and they are perhaps the most well known and used print on demand website. So with that being said, I now need to figure figure out what sort of products I want to list and sell in my store, so I'm going to go ahead and check that out now. And after taking a look around and checking out all the different options, I think the best options we have for our Bitcoin slash crypto themed store would be t-shirts. And the reason for this is because people love to rep their interests and their passions on some cool and trendy tees. Next, I think hats could be a good one to test and try it out as summer is literally right around the corner and people will naturally be looking for hats online. And for the last one, I think mugs could be another good one to try out as a lot of people are still working from home like myself. And this could be a nice piece of merch for those who don't exactly want to wear Bitcoin on a t-shirt but still want to wrap it on a subtle mug that they can see in their office every day. But now that I know what products I'm going to be selling, I can now start the process of creating some designs and prints that we can list and start to sell on our online store. So as I mentioned earlier on, I will be using Canva to create these designs myself that will be going on the t-shirts and the merchandise. This way we can save some time and money from hiring someone on Fiverr as an example example and put that money towards marketing. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to slap some headphones on for the next hour or two, crack open a cold one and run a few time lapses of the designs that I managed to create. And once I do, I will check back in with you guys after to give you So I've just finished creating around 10 different designs to go on our Bitcoin and crypto products and if I'm being honest I think they came out okay considering the time that I put into everything. I also put a little bit of time into creating some mock-ups of the designs on the products that we're going to sell. This way we have some realistic mock-ups and product images that we can put on our site and show to the customers. So now that I've sourced the supplier and the fulfillment service of these products and now have the designs and the product images to go along with it, all the 
that's left to do now is create the online store where hopefully we will start to make some sales. And then from there, all I will need to do is come up with the content and the ad creatives to actually run on the ads and the marketing. Okay, so it's now the following day as I had a few things come up yesterday. This now go ahead and get this store up and running. And for this part, I will be using Shopify to host our online store. So I've already gone ahead and set up a new account and went for the basic Shopify plan, which gives me a 14 day free trial. And now I have to come up with and pay for a domain name to attach to this store. So I'm going to quickly do that and see what's available. Okay, so the name that I finally went for is called CryptoCoinGoods.com as I thought this was the cleanest and most professional name that I could come up with and was actually available on the Shopify domains. And this was also our first charge of the challenge as this cost me $14 to buy. But now moving on to the creation of the store, I'm going to be spending the next hour or so setting everything up and making sure everything looks as clean and professional as possible. lie I've spent a little bit longer than I thought I would developing this store so as you can see from the timer that I set earlier I've spent around two and a half hours so far developing this store but I mean it is what it is it is what it is it is, it is what it is so what I'm going to do now is give you guys a quick run through and show you the store but when I do I will show you guys the mobile version as this is typically where we will expect to see most of the traffic come from Okay, so here we have just pulled up the homepage. So as you can see here, we have my new logo that I created to obviously match the domain. And we scroll down, I have my main image, which shows off the sale that we have for the next 48 hours, because of course, this is how long the challenge is going on for. And as we scroll down, I have my three different collections. So we have the t-shirt collections, the cap collection, and the mug collection. And then as we scroll down, we can see here that I've created a little about us section so the customers can check that out there. So that's then the bottom of the page. So if we then click on one of the t-shirt pages, for an example. Okay, so there we go. And first up, we're greeted with the three different color options for the t-shirts, which is the white, gray, and black. So I've also put in a size chart at the end here. Then we have the size drop down, color drop down. We have the before and after price to show the sale. As we scroll down, I've put some little icons in there to put the logo in. And here I just simply copied the descriptions out of Printful. Then as we scroll down, we have more options of the t-shirts. So I'll quickly show you the caps. So here's an example of the product page for one of the caps. Scroll down, we have more caps to show. If I go on mugs, this is very similar to the caps as well. So one image, we have two different size options. It's a very quick overview of the store. So hopefully you guys can get an idea of how it's looking. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start running our ads. And for this, I will be using Facebook and Google ads in order to drive our traffic. Now, the reason for this is because I can use the data collected from these campaigns to then redefine and retarget my target audiences in the future if I do decide to carry on with this store. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and set these ads up and schedule them for tomorrow at 11 a.m. my time. This way the ads will then start at around 6 a.m. in the US and start at around 8 p.m. in Australia. And this obviously then gives us an even split across the countries that we're targeting. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all set up. I now have all the ads scheduled and what I will do is pop up the demographics and the interest up on the screen so you guys can check it out and see what sort of interest I'm actually targeting. And then for Google ads, I went for keywords that people might potentially be browsing for when looking for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. This way we might be able to surprise them with an ad and draw customers in without them even looking for any Bitcoin merchandise in the first place. Okay, quick update for you guys. So all the ads have now gone live, so the 48 hour 
Product Challenge has now officially started and I went ahead and put all the remaining budget into these ads. As if you remember, we are using a print on demand business model. So we don't technically have to plow any money until we receive any orders. So I went ahead and made some final touches to the store just before the ads went live. So I'll show you guys that now. So here on the home page, not much has actually changed, but what I have done is added in a app that allows the customers to hover over the product tiles. And when they do, it will change the colors of the t-shirts. This way it will tell the customers that there are other variants and colors of these t-shirts. And I have also made some other changes to the product pages as these are without a doubt, one of the most important pages for our conversions. So as we scroll down past the checkout buttons, we can see here that I've added in the secured and trusted tabs, which show the customers what payment providers we actually offer and then again as we scroll down I've created this menu style drop down box which shows the customers the description the shipping info and a little about us tab but other than that I only touched up on the back end bits of the store and finished up on the boring policy pages so yeah that's the site and that's how it will be seen by the customers for this challenge okay it's now Sunday and the time is currently 12 p.m. the ads finished running about an hour ago so it has officially been 48 hours since the start of the challenge from Friday morning and the results are now in. So drum roll please. Drum roll please. Brrr, can anybody guess? We've managed to secure a total of seven orders which is a total revenue of £349.86 and then converted into dollars this is $483.38 at the time of filming this. Now I know this figure may seem and sound like a lot considering we only set ourselves a budget of $100 for this challenge but we also need to factor in all the other cost of goods and the fees involved in this challenge. So let me break it all down for you. Our total revenue was $483.38. 38 cents and of course we have to go out there and fulfill these orders through Printful and this cost us a total of $281.55 to fulfill those orders. The next few costs that we need to factor in are the costs of the domain and the marketing which took up the bulk of the $100 budget that we set for this challenge. So with the domain we spent $14 on Shopify to get hold of that and then we spent a further $82.90 on marketing through Google and Facebook ads. So in total we only spent $96 and 90 cents out of the hundred dollars that we set ourselves for this challenge. So the last another small cost that we need to factor in was the payment processing fees taken from Shopify which cost us a total of twelve dollars and fifty seven cents. And with all that being said we're left with a final profit of ninety two dollars and forty six cents which I think is a great result considering it was from a brand new store and I mean I was honestly hoping that we would just break even for this challenge. I also think this result had some influence from the all time high that we saw this weekend as Ethereum went and reached its all time high. So I think this could have driven a lot more interest and emotion to buy and celebrate this occasion. But anyway, I'm happy we were able to turn a profit and I hope this shows you guys that print on demand and drop shipping is still possible if you actually go out there and dedicate some time to finding trends that will actually sell. And if you're still watching and stuck around to the end, I firstly wanna say thank you. And I also wanna give away the design files and the product images that I used in this challenge. So hopefully one of you guys can take them and use them to build your own store. So all you have to do is like this video and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and then go down below in the comment section and comment your favorite cryptocurrency coin. And then in my next video at the end, I will announce the winner and I will send you the design files. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one and bye for now.